What could you not love about a mall? I mean, look at the corridor down there, all the lights. Okay guys, tonight I am out here in Alliance, Ohio. I have filmed this place uh, several times over the years actually, and I'm gonna do a throwback in a couple of days here, maybe even tomorrow. Um, of this same mall from I think it was three years ago when I filmed it. This is Carnation Mall in Alliance. Right down here we got JC Penney's. I actually thought that they had closed, but I was wrong because I just saw that uh, Richard Dremden Wolf filmed over here the other day and I saw that Penny's was still open, which blew me away. I thought they were closed. But uh, down here we got Elder Beerman's and well, we're going to go through the mall here and just kind of take a look and see what it looks like now compared to the last time I was here. And guys, before I forget, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notifications. I was looking at my analytics the other day and I noticed 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. That is crazy. Subscribe. Let's go check this out. Here's the map of the mall. I love seeing this thing. I used to hang out at this mall when I was a kid. Like we would come out here and there's actually a hotel on the one end. Here it is, Comfort Inn. And we would stay there just to get away for a couple days. And uh, this hallway is actually connected to the mall. And there's the movie theater. And this around in here is at least what used to be the, uh, the food court. So, uh, you know, we'd eat there, we'd run around the mall. So let's go see what it looks like, guys. Not a whole lot going on. There's Penny's. I love the way that looks on the front there. This over here is actually a church, Wellspring Church. We'll take a quick peek inside the doors here because there's nothing going on. Yep, there it is. There's a big church. I honestly don't remember what used to be right here, but hair salon over there. There's usually not many people in there. Look at this children's ministry and now we begin with all the closed stores look at this we got plastic up on these windows here label scars at the top over here it's the same thing plastic on the windows let's see if we can peek through this this hole right here see what's in there Ooh, I wonder what store that was hmm yeah, everything's just empty. I'm thinking this was an open furniture store when I was in here the last time. But there's nothing in there now. Yeah. So one of these over here used to be a music store. I think it was that one right there. But yeah, look at this, guys. Look at how much stuff is closed now. Nothing in most of these. I love these. I should sit down and get a massage in one of these right now. <laughs> this right here, not too long ago, was actually called Taz's Game Room. Oh, we still got the sign up. Let me look at this. Yeah, there we go. Taz's Game Room. Looks like there's still some stuff in there. I'm not going to go poking around, but I love this mall, actually, guys. Look, standing right here, you can see everything. This is the center of the whole mall. Bath and Body Works is still open. And there's uh, there's what used to be the food court. I see we got We're Rolling, the pretzel store, and a snack store. We'll go down there in just a minute. What could you not love about a mall? I mean, look at the corridor down there, all the lights, and look at the woodwork over here. Malls are just amazing, man. They're beautiful. Look, we still have a Captain Underpants ad thing right here. <laughs> That is too funny, that's from a couple of years ago. I don't know what that says, Kings something or other. But uh, look at this sofa store over here. This place closed not too long ago. Wow, yeah, there's still some merchandise in there, but just an empty store. Pretty amazing. Look at that, I love the way that looks right there. Big, wide open space. Okay, look at this. Bath and Body Works has clearance on a lot of stuff. I gotta smell it. Step in here and just get overtaken by this stuff. Aromatherapy. Mmm, smells so... Ooh, Japanese cherry blossom. Look at this one. Mmm. Alright, I didn't buy anything in there. Look at this. We got Carnation Comics over here. 
They usually have like a big train set up in there, but apparently not anymore. Oh, look, look, oh my gosh, okay. This car, you'll have to watch the throwback. Uh, <laughs> Cause I, I don't remember, I think I honked that horn. Maybe I didn't, maybe I chickened out, I don't remember. But it was sitting right out here in the middle. Look at this, they've got uh, Christmas trees set up in here. I mean, see, that's what I like about this mall though. They actually try to do something with the spaces instead of just leave them empty. Just like the cars over there, and I know there are some that have um, the plastic on the windows and that, but I mean, this has got plastic on there, but. Okay, this store right here called Excel. I don't know if it's ever been open when I've been in here. Durham's is though, Durham's seems to be hopping every time. They got all kinds of stuff out here every time I come in here. Not a whole lot of people, but I mean, there's, they must be selling something because they got lots of stuff out here. And again, here's a good use of the space. They got a bed in here advertising for Holiday Inn. And here is the Elder Beerman that closed not too long ago. Both Richard and I were in here filming. Yeah, look at that big open empty store. Hmm. Yeah, I just love to come in here and look around my second favorite mall, Carnation Optical. My first, of course, was Canton Center Mall, Millette Mall in Canton. And uh, you, for a long time, you had access to the small part of the mall that was still open. But they have closed now. All right, guys, real quick, let's run down here and check out the, uh, the movie theater and what used to be the food court. Um, it used to at least be a big arcade down here. In Richard's video, it was closed off. But let's go see what it looks like now. I love that big wide open space right there. Yeah, here we go. At least the pretzels smell good. We are rolling over the top snacks. And that's just like the uh, the offices for we're rolling. There's the movie theater. I can smell the delicious popcorn. And here's the arcade. This used to be a really good hamburger joint right here. Mm-mm-mm. Movies over there are a great price. Oh, Napoli Pizza closed. Holy crap, I remember when they were saying they were gonna close. And I got one more piece of pizza. I'm so glad I did. Now it's toast. Oh, what a bummer, man. That totally sucks. Bye bye, Napoli. Right here is the doors that go into the Comfort Inn. If you were staying at the hotel, you just go right through there and out to the hotel. But yeah, this is what used to be the food court, guys. No food anymore. Well, pretzels and snacks down there. <laughs> and here's the arcade. This is actually a pretty fun arcade. Um, if you look back through this channel, you can see where I made a three-part video of this mall. And uh, I actually go in there and hang out and play all through the third part. It's really fun. Well, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to come in here, take a walk around, and kind of see what was left of the mall. So, like I said, I'll put a, uh, a throwback episode up of the one that I filmed like three years ago. I think it was on the Skate Master Nate channel. I don't remember. But I'll put that up here in a day or two. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot of difference, but you can see what difference there was three years ago. Hopefully this place won't close down anytime soon, so...